This is a short video about um, different bass voicings for chords. It might sound a bit sort of esoteric and complicated, but it's not really. And if you're uh, improvising on the piano, playing around with your bass voicing um, can make a very big difference to the way um, your music sounds. Um, if you are watching this video um, as a result of reading my book, um, How to Really Play the Piano, um, you will find what we're going to talk about here on pages 42 and, and right at the top of page 43. Um, very, very quickly, um, the bass note you play with a particular chord has, because of its depth and richness and, and its strength, if you like, has a great deal of influence on the way that chord sounds. So, let's consider a straightforward chord of C major. Let's play the triad in the first inversion, there it is. And there it is with a single C in the bass. Listen to that sound. Okay. Now let's make it slightly different and instead play an E in the bass. Okay, as you can hear, that E in the bass is really strong. Okay, changes the character of the chord. The G. Okay, slightly different character. Why is that important? Because you can use the different characters that bass voicings give your chords to create a sense of mystery or a sense of movement or a sense of dynamism. Um, let me give you an example. If you're reading from the book, um, this example is written out on page 42. Okay, very simple progression in C. Okay, very straightforward. Do you see how at the start, moving from the C with the C in the bass to the C with the E in the bass, up to the F, gives a sense of movement, a sense of forward motion. Let's play it through again. This time I'll shout out the chords as I go. Okay, C, C over E, F, G, F, A minor, A minor over G. F over G, which if you've watched my previous videos, you will know gives a quasi-dominant effect, subdominant chord with the dominant note in the bass, to C. Okay. Now, how you play about with um, uh, bass voicings of chords really is up to you, but it's something that's worth experimenting with. Another interesting thing to do, um, which, which creates quite an interesting effect, is to play your chord sequence keeping um, just one note in the bass. Yeah? So I'm going to play a simple chord sequence uh, based on C, F and G, but I'm going to play nothing but C in the bass. Okay, so that creates interesting effects. I'm not doing anything particularly complicated, but you're getting some quite nice sounds there, especially that... I love that chord, that's really lovely. Okay. Writing out bass voicings is easy, as, as you've probably gathered already. You just write the chord, then a slash, and then um, the bass note. Okay, so if you're playing the chord of, um, you know, F with a G in the bass, that's how you write it. F over G, and obviously that resolves onto the C. Okay. Bass voicings, like everything else, um, the best way to learn about them is to play around with them. Take a couple of chord sequences from, from music books or from out of your head or wherever and just experiment. See what you can do, see what sound you can create and muck around and play about. Some good ones are the ones we've looked at there. C, C over E and the other, one of my other favourites, A minor over A, down to A minor over G. Resolves nicely onto the... Okay. Obviously you want to do those in different keys rather than just C and an a, a minor. But as I say, experiment, play around, get used to the sounds. Um, if you have any questions, um, give me a shout, either in the comment thread on the YouTube video or on the Jamcast post where I've embedded this video. You can find the address here if you happen to be watching it somewhere else. Um, anyone who asks questions, I always get back to people, so please feel free. Um, if you want to find out more about my book... Um, Here's a hard copy, how to really play the piano, the stuff your teacher never taught you. Um, you can uh, see a link to find out more here. 
jamcast.co.uk slash play the piano. Um, it's a great book for you if you've had some piano lessons in the past but you never kind of learned how to do stuff like play pop and blues and uh, improvise and, and stuff like that. If you know if you got bored just playing classics and, and scales, you may find this book is useful to you. Um, it's available in the UK and Europe and North America as well. So if you'd like a copy, visit that web address and you can get one there. Okay, thanks very much for listening.